Hi guys Mr. New Mobile here. Apple iPhone 12 Pro, release date, price and specs. Please subscribe followed by the bell. You can also keep up on Facebook, Twitter by clicking the links in the description. We're very close to finally getting to see the new iPhone 12 and iPhone 12 Pro models from Apple. And these phones promise to feature some of the biggest changes to the iPhone lineup in a long time. The iPhone 12 will reportedly drop the existing design for an all-new look, as well as add 5G connectivity across the range, Apple's highly anticipated A14 Bionic processor, and, for the Pro set specifically, lighter cameras. The 120Hz displays for the Pro models are in limbo based on leaks. While we probably won't get our hands on the iPhone 12 in September like we typically do with new iPhone releases, rumors and leaks have painted a pretty full picture of what to expect from Apple's upcoming handsets, including their release dates, prices and specs. The iPhone 12 is expected to come in four models. The 5.4-inch iPhone 12, 6.1-inch iPhone 12 Max, 6.1-inch expected to tout a design that harkens back to the iPhone 5's flat machined edges, along with a possibly slimmer notch and plenty of other changes are in store, from the processor powering the phone to the cameras you will use to snap photos. Apple has announced the iPhone 12 event date, which is September 15. A new iPhone 12 leak further details how all four models could use a magnetic charging ring found under the rear chassis of the phone. Another report has the iPhone 12 pegged to be released in two waves, starting with the 6.1-inch Max and Pro models, followed by the 5.4-inch iPhone 12 and 6.7-inch iPhone 12 Pro Max. The iPhone 12 should launch at this event, likely alongside the Apple Watch 6 and other devices. Although new iPhones typically launch in September, multiple reports have pointed to a delayed release date for the iPhone 12. During an Apple earnings call in July, Chief Financial Officer Luca Mestri noted that last year's iPhone 11 shipped in September, but added this year, the supply of the new product will be a few weeks later than that. That would seemingly point to an October release, which is what leakers arrive in November, so it would be a staggered launch. According to a report in Bloomberg, Apple is readying 75 million iPhone 12 units for launch, so it is anticipating a lot of demand. The report also corroborates that Apple plans to stagger the launch of the iPhone 12, with the cheaper models going on sale first. The iPhone 12 price seems to be a moving target. The most recent leak from at Kamiya KJ on Twitter says that the 5.4-inch iPhone 12 will start at $699 for 64 GB. The 6.1-inch iPhone 12 Max have a $799 price for the same amount of storage. However, it's possible that the pricing could be cheaper should Apple decide to sell 4G LTE-only versions. The above pricing would be for 5G models of the iPhone 12. In fact, one iPhone 12 price report claims that Apple will release a 4G LTE iPhone 12 in early 2021, according to a research note form Wedbush Securities. Analyst John Prosser said that the 5.4-inch iPhone 12 with two rear cameras will start at $649, Max with a 6.1-inch screen would cost $749. The iPhone 12 Pro, which would have three rear cameras plus a lighter sensor, may start at $999 or $1,049. The iPhone 12 Pro could also feature a 120Hz ProMotion display, but that's not a lot quite yet. Since a forecast from analyst Ming Kai Kuo last year, we've known that four different iPhone 12 models are on tap for 2020. One at 5.4 inches, two at 6.1 inches and the largest variant met. Meanwhile, various designers have tried their hand at creating mock-ups of what the next iPhones will look like, based on rumors and leaked CAD drawings. The folks at Concept Creator built a render of the 5.4-inch iPhone 12, Hub note that it has flatter sides and a smaller notch, as well as a SIM tray that has been relocated beneath the volume buttons. The above image from designer Jonas Dennard shows what the iPhone 12 Pro could look like with the flat edges, a smaller notch and a fourth camera, which would presumably be a lighter sensor for more immersive augmented reality applications. The possible iPhone 12 colors are starting to come into focus now that we're getting closer to the launch of the new iPhones. We think Apple is going to follow the same pattern of the last couple iPhone launches. That means a greater quantity of colors for the less expensive iPhone 12 and iPhone 12 Max, while the iPhone 12 Pro models will adopt darker, more traditional color schemes, such as space gray and silver, with more of a premium-seeming finish to them. All four 2020 iPhones will have 5G, these four phones are also expected to incorporate OLED displays, which would mark a change for Apple. Like the iPhone XR before it, the iPhone 11 features an LCD display instead of an OLED panel. iPhone 12. 
Look for the entry-level iPhone 12 to feature a 5.4-inch OLED panel with iPhone 12 to feature a 5.4-inch OLED panel with rumored resolution of 2340 by 1080. Young expects the display to feature Y-Octa technology, which means that the touch sensor is integrated directly into the display. In terms of other hardware, the iPhone 12 is expected to feature an A14 processor, 4GB of RAM, and a choice between 128GB and 256GB of storage. Like the iPhone 11, this model will rely on dual rear cameras, losing the telephoto in the Pro variants. The iOS 14 beta has essentially confirmed the 5.4-inch model of the iPhone 12, as the display zoom accessibility feature now supports panels with the iPhone 12's resolution. iPhone 12 Max. This 6.1-inch iPhone will feature the same hardware as the standard iPhone 12 A14 processor, 4GB of RAM, 128GB or 256GB of storage and dual rear cameras. The biggest difference will be the screen and battery size, both of which will see increases. The iPhone 12 Max will have a larger flexible 6.1-inch OLED Max will have a larger flexible 6.1-inch OLED panel with 2532 by 1170 resolution. iPhone 12 Pro. The 6.1-inch flexible OLED on this model could be the first phone to feature 10-bit color support, according to Young. It will feature a 2532 by 1170 resolution along with Y-Octa technology. There's a chance this phone's screen could support a 120Hz refresh rate, though rumors have gone back and forth on that front over the last several months. Expect 6GB of RAM in this A14-powered model, with storage options ranging from 128GB to 512GB. The Pro series is rumored to feature three rear lenses, highlighted by a 64MP main sensor, plus a lighter time-of-flight sensor that will improve performance of iPhone Arkansas apps. iPhone 12 Pro Max. Expect the same RAM, storage and camera features as the iPhone 12 Pro, only with a bigger 6.7-inch OLED panel. Resolution could be 2778 by 1824, and a 120Hz refresh rate is a possibility here, 2Hz refresh rate is a possibility here, too. So what will the new iPhones look like? All four iPhone 12 models are expected to bring back the flat metal edge design of the iPhone 5, according to Bloomberg. This design change will also bring the iPhone lineup closer to the iPad Pro 2020. The most interesting variant should be the 5.4-inch iPhone 12, which has been leaked via a purchase dummy unit. It's even smaller than the 4.7-inch iPhone 7, despite having a larger display. And it's not significantly larger than the original 4-inch iPhone SE. If you're confused as to why the rear cameras and notches look unchanged from the iPhone 11 range, the simple reason is that these finer design details often aren't accounted for in dummy units because they're usually not important to the construction of accessories. However, an image by Twitter leaker Kamiya shows what could be the final design for the iPhone 12 Pro and iPhone 12 Pro Max. This includes a notch up front and a square camera array that tucks in a smaller lighter sensor than what's found on the iPhone 12 Pro. All iPhone 12 models will reportedly ship with all iPhone 12 models will reportedly ship with support for 5G networks, but it's possible that only one model will offer the fastest possible speeds. According to a report from Fast Company, the iPhone 12 Pro Max will be the only device in the lineup to support Wave 5G. The other three models would support sub 6G HC 5G apparently, only the 6.7 inch iPhone 12 Pro Max will be large enough to accommodate both a wave antenna and a battery, large enough to compensate for the expected battery drain. 5G in this lower band offers longer range, but slower data rates than wave technology, which can reach up to 2 Gbps. Verizon 5G is focusing, at least initially, on Wave, which delivers the fastest speeds, but requires line of sight due to a small seller node for service. A report in Digi Times confirms that the iPhone 12 and iPhone 12 Max will have two rear cameras, and the iPhone 12 Pro and iPhone 12 Pro Max will have three rear cameras, plus a new lighter sensor. According to a separate report, the iPhone 12 will feature a new 7-part lens for the main camera, which would be an upgrade from the 6-part lens on the iPhone 11 series. The extra lens should result in better photo quality and reduce distortion. Given that the iPhone 11 hardware, we'd expect the 2020 versions of the iPhone Pro to once again include a main lens, wide-angle shooter and telephoto lens. As for that lighter time-of-flight sensor. Analyst Ming Kai Kuo expects it to be included on at least two iPhone 12 models, which would almost assuredly be the Pro versions. Well this is just my little update on iPhone Pro model release date. Though Apple is planning to make a very massive upgrade on their Pro model, and I am excited about that. Do you think Apple will succeed 120Hz refresh rate as reported? Let me see your comment below. 
well having been said, please subscribe, like the video, comment.